Let's begin from Pakistan. While attending the SEO summit in Islamabad, India's External Affairs Minister S. Jaishankar highlighted key issues including cooperation based on recognition of territorial integrity and sovereignty. He also came down heavily on cross-border terrorism without naming any country. Recalling the SEO charter, Jaishankar said that it was equally clear what the key challenges were, that is, combating terrorism, separatism and extremism. He stated that if activities across borders are characterized by terrorism, extremism and separatism, they are hardly likely to encourage trade, energy flows, connectivity and people-to-people -people exchanges in parallel. Adding that cooperation must be on mutual respect, it is the first time in nearly a decade that an Indian foreign affairs minister has traveled to Pakistan even as the ties remain tense between the two neighbors. Earlier, external affairs minister Jay Shankar and Pakistan Prime Minister Sheba Sharif greeted each other with a handshake at the start of the summit. No bilateral meeting is scheduled between India and Pakistan and Jay Shankar's visit will strictly follow the SEO summit schedule. On Tuesday, the Prime Minister of Pakistan hosted a welcome dinner for leaders who are attending the meeting, including Chinese Premier Li Chiang and Russian Deputy Prime Minister Alexei Ovechuk. The bloc of 10 nations also includes Belarus, Iran, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan and Uzbekistan. 16 more countries are affiliated as observers or dialogue partners. Meanwhile, in his opening address at the Shanghai Cooperation Organization Summit, the Prime Minister of Pakistan urged SEO member states to strengthen the organization's framework for tackling multiple regional challenges and forging close cooperation. And for the latest on the summit, we on Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik spoke with Pakistan's Information and Broadcasting Minister Ataul Tarar on the sidelines of the meeting. I have with me the Information Minister of Pakistan, Ataul Tarar. Thank you so much for taking our time and speaking to you on two quick questions. Firstly, SCO. How big of a success is this for Pakistan? Is diplomacy back? Absolutely. Uh, it's back with a bang. Uh, as I see it, uh, Pakistan's is a foreign policy has been very successful. We've been receiving delegations from the world over. The Malaysian Prime Minister was here a few weeks back. The Saudi Investment Minister was here. We've received the Chinese Premier. Uh, the Chinese Premier and the Pakistani Prime Minister have jointly inaugurated the completion of the Gawadar International Airport, which is a strategic asset for us. And I believe that Pakistan's foreign policy and diplomacy is being appreciated the world over. There's been some progress when it comes to the bilateral relationship with India. Uh, there was a lot of skepticism with their foreign minister coming in. The rhetoric has been torn down from Islamabad and New Delhi, both in their speeches. Do you see an opening? Is this a positive gesture? I think it's a, the SCO is a multilateral forum and it, ha it has its own protocols. Uh, but having said that, we welcomed all our guests in Pakistan and the Prime Minister on last night's uh, banquet received all the guests, she shook hands with all the guests, all the guests are welcome in Pakistan. So I think uh, the multilateral forum protocols are observed and we are trying that uh, we should uh, not violate any kind of protocol while uh, welcoming our guests. Does that create an opening? You mentioned the handshake. It's the first visit by any Indian minister in eight years, any by any foreign minister from India in nine years. Does that create an opening? I think uh, the foreign relations are at times based on reciprocity. So let's see how it goes. All right. Thank you, sir, for taking us to on. Thank you. For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.